from a very modern innovation to great architecture inspired by the culture of ancient Greece. These steps which tourists now tread felt the feet of gods, for this is the Acropolis offered to the gods by devoted Athenians before the world was won. Cracked perhaps, crumbling a little, shifted slightly. Nevertheless, these magnificent columns still bear testimony to the artistry and skill possessed by the craftsmen of the Golden Age. An age which produced this, the Parthenon of Pericles, most perfect example of ancient architecture. Today, tourists come, but the gods are immortalized, as time has immortalized their earthly home. But the world is a world of the present, drawing strength from the past and looking towards the future. Athens is equal to the world in this respect. She is very much a great modern city too. Modern Athens, like any capital city, has its eye-catching hotels, department stores, and its street traffic system straining to control the constant flow of cars from all over the world. Something to be proud of in its own right, yet here perhaps a little subdued by the monumental memories of their ancestry. prospers in Athens. Scenes like this have remained the same for years. On every back street corner, someone sells something, even photographs, in the way his father taught him. Always there is something different around each corner a maze of streets that ends with the romance of old Greece. tourists flock to Athens. But these days they don't just come because it's Athens. What variety is here? And for an extra special souvenir, take home the site of Piraeus Harbour. Even the gods must be impressed. This is Vuliamini, housing one of the two glorious beaches adjacent to Athens. Here, a million Aphrodites enchant. But never far away, the symbols of greatness. Only 15 columns remain of the Temple of Zeus, king of the gods who inspired the beauty that is Athens. The eye of Greece, mother of arts and eloquence. 